Saturday, February 12, 2022. November 150 Uniform Whiskey begins its day of ops being towed from American Airlines maintenance hangars to Gate Charlie 4. It was serviced overnight and is now ready for boarding of American Airlines Flight 313 to San Diego. American 313 DFW ground, runway 36 right bridge, Oscar, current. 36 right bridge, Oscar, American 313. Dallas-Fort Worth handles upwards of 1,600 commercial movements a day, making it one of the world's busiest airports. To help controllers and pilots maintain efficient operations, DFW employs standard taxi instructions for both departures and arrivals. American 313 has been assigned the Runway 36 Right bridge route from Spot 24. Taxi to Runway 36 Right via Taxiway Kilo and Bravo Hold short of Hotel Alpha unless further instructions are received. Contact ground 121.85 on Taxiway Bravo Bridge. American 313, you up? Camera, Bravo Bridge, uh, go on. American 313, front via Fox Trout Whiskey Papa. Fox Whiskey Papa, copy American 313. Control craft, DFW Rob information, Oscar, departure information, Papa is now current, altimeter 3044, wind 360 at 15, gusting 1 niner. Murder 313, Tiger, good morning, 36 right line up and wait. 313, 36 right line up and wait. Murder 313, RNF to G-Vine, 36 right, clear for takeoff. RNF to G-Vine, clear for takeoff, 36 right, American 313. American 313, contact departure salon. Departure, good day, American 313. Departure, American 313, checking in at a two for one zero thousand two five. American 313, read on departure radar contact. American 313, climb maintain one seven thousand. Out of eight point five one seven thousand, American 313. American 313, contact Fort Worth Center, 127.0. 27 decimal, nothing American, uh, 313, good one. After switching to Fort Worth Center, the flight crew are alerted by the cabin crew that noxious fumes are entering the cabin. Several passengers have become ill. The flight crew decide to turn around and return to Dallas. They don their oxygen masks and alert air traffic controllers and emergency services to their situation. Spirit 972, and if you could do me a favor, keep your speed up. There's a, an emergency that's coming in. They're going to follow you in from the west. All right, we're going back. Appreciate it. Yeah, Spirit 972, and just for a heads up, that emergency is uh, on a left base, about 18 miles northwest of your position, out of 5,000. Hello, American 313 with you, 115,000. American 313, reasonable approach, low, expression wave, 36 left. 36 left, American 313. American 313, descend and maintain 3,000. 3,000, American 313. American 313, if it helps you out, you can go direct to Char if you want to do that. Okay, we'll do that, thanks. American 313. American 313. Go ahead, sir. So, um, we have uh, some, some sick passengers, so uh, we're going to need that. We'll probably just plan on taxiing to the gate and then have the equipment follow us. Okay, American 313, I will let the tower know um, that you just want to go straight to the gate with the sick passengers. Hey, firm. Thank you, sir. Yep, no problem. American 313, the field 10 o'clock and 9 miles. Insight 313. American 313, clear visual press point 36 left. Clear the visual 313. American 313, have a nice day. Contact Tower 124.15. 12415, American 313. Tower, hello, American 313, inbound with you. 36 left. American 313, DSW Tower, wind 36 short at 19, I running 36 left, play to land. When able, switch to 135.70. 135.70, American 313. 
For control, the next, next aircraft command is the emergency aircraft. Full control, go ahead. That is correct, full control. American 313. Medical personnel has been notified. American 313, uh, just let me know when you're ready to taxi. American 313, cross me 36 right at 6 3 with 6 kilo, taxi go off to the ramp. Full control, proceed as requested, cross me 36 right. American 313, have a question? Um, I was asked to, if, if, did you have to put oxygen mask on? Later in the morning, once all passengers and crew have left the aircraft, it's towed back to the hangar so maintenance personnel can correct the reported issue. On February 16, after four days in the hangar, the aircraft was scheduled to return to service. Shortly before departure, the return service to Atlanta was cancelled. On February 18, the aircraft resumed passenger operations, flying a return service to San Antonio.